In this tutorial, we are going to see Redis transactions. You have already seen that we are executing single single commands in Redis CLI to get the job done. Okay. But what if we need to execute multiple commands? What if we need to execute a bunch of commands in a single go, in a single fly? Considering the advantage of Redis, which is an atomicity, all the transactions, all the commands which we are executing should be atomic. If any error is there, then all the commands should not be executed. So that can be achieved using Redis transaction. To start a Redis transaction, you need to specify a multi command. Once you enter this command, you are in a transaction mode. So all the commands which you enter from now will be in the queued state and it won't execute until you specify a execute command. Okay, let's check it out. We started a transaction. We are giving a bunch of commands like set name as Shabir. Okay, it's been queued. Then you can see get name. That is also been queued. We'll do set A as one, set B as two, you can see all the commands are being queued. Now all this command will be executed in a single transaction when we specify execute command, which is exec. Once we fire this command, all the commands will be executed. You can see that all the commands are being executed. So this way a transaction has been created and has been executed within a single flow. Suppose you have created a transaction, right? You are adding some commands, get a, get c, get b any different commands you have been executing okay by the meantime you want to discard the transaction you don't want to execute okay so for that the command is discard if you specify discard then all the transactions all the commands that you have been added to the transaction all will be nullified okay your transactions will be cancelled out so this way you can execute a transaction or a discard a transaction based on the requirements now there is a special command which is watch command if we watch any particular key right if we add a particular key in my watch and then we create a transaction then what will happen a transaction will be executed based on the conditions for that variable which has been added to the watch if there is no change in the key defined in the watch then only the transaction will be completed if there is any change in watch okay at that time the transaction will not be executed and it will return nil but the change in watch should not be within the current command line or current client if it is coming from a different client at that time only it will check if there is any change in a particular key from any other client, if so, then the execution will be blocked for the transaction. So let's check that out. Okay, let's flush all our data. Let's set A as 1. Let's open a new window, new terminal. Okay, now I'm adding a multi command. Okay, I'm doing set B as 2, get B. Okay. Meanwhile, I am adding watch on A. Okay, watch on A has been added and I am doing execute command. So you can see that I have added watch on A, but I haven't changed that key A. So for that, my current transaction will be executed successfully. You can see that I am getting the data.